first contender tonight is Michael Taylor. He's an historian from Manchester and his specialist subject, the films of Paul Thomas Anderson. Ian Jack is a university lecturer from the Wirral. His subject, the novels of Virginia Woolf. Neil Wright's a retired biomedical scientist from the Wirral and he's answering questions on the wines of Burgundy. Mags Bennett's a milliner from Leeds. Her subject, the band Motley Crue. And Tim Footman, a freelance editor from London. His specialist subject, the novelist Kazuo Ishiguro. Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Five contenders with but one thought on their minds. Can they make it through to the grand final? If they do, one of them will win this, the famous glass boat and, of course, the title Mastermind Champion. They'll each have a minute and a half of questions on their specialist subject, two minutes on their general knowledge. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Michael Taylor. Your occupation? Historian. And your chosen subject? The films of Paul Thomas Anderson. In 90 seconds, starting now, Anderson received Oscar nominations for writing and directing a 2007 film based on Upton Sinclair's novel, Oil. What's the film called? There Will Be Blood. Yep. In Boogie Nights, Mark Wahlberg's character becomes an adult movie actor using the stage name Dirk Diggler. But what's his real name? Eddie Adams. Yes, in Punch Drunk Love, where does Lena go on a business trip? Barry Egan follows her and pretends he's also there on business. Hawaii. Yes. Whose roles in Anderson's films include Sydney in Hard Eight and Jimmy Gator in Magnolia? Philip Baker Hall. Correct. During John and Clementine's drive to Niagara Falls for their honeymoon in Hard Eight, John calls Sydney from which town in Illinois? Rock Island. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the mental health facility in Ojai, where Doc Sportello finds the missing real estate developer Mickey Wolfman in Inherent Vice? Cross Skylodon. Yeah. Which song do the followers of Lancaster Dodd sing with him during a gathering at Helen Sullivan's house in Philadelphia? I'll go no more a roving. Yep. In Punch Drunk Love, which company offers 500 frequent flyer miles with any 10 of its products? He healthy choice. Correct. What type of creatures fall from the sky like rain near the end of Magnolia? It causes many mishaps for the characters. Frogs. Yep. What is the name of the turn-of-the-century old prospector played by Daniel Day-Lewis in There Will Be Blood? The role won him his second Best Actor Oscar. Daniel Plainview. Yes. In The Master, Lancaster Dodd unveils book two of his teachings, subtitled As a Gift to Homo Sapiens, at a congress in Phoenix, Arizona. What is the book's title? Split Saber. Yes. In Inherent Vice, what's the name of the music magazine that Doc Sportello pretends to work for when he visits a house in Topanga Canyon to speak to Coy Harlingen? Rolling Stone. It's actually called Stone Turntable, but close. However, no passes, and Michael, you have 11 points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. And your name is? Ian Jack. Your occupation? University lecturer. And your chosen subject? The novels of Virginia Woolf. In 90 seconds, starting now, Woolf's first full-length novel was originally called Melimbrosia before it was rewritten and published with what title? Voyage Out. Yep. What is the name of the guest of the Ramses in the first part of To the Lighthouse who believes women can neither paint nor write? Tansley. Yep. In the years, it is reported that Rose Pargeter has been had up in police court in 1911 for throwing what? A brick. Yep. Whose feelings of hatred towards Mrs Dalloway were eased by a visit to a church two years and three months ago? Uh, Peter Walsh. Uh, Miss Kilman. In The Voyage Out, Mrs Dalloway writes her name and address on the flyleaf of a book that she gives to Rachel Vinrace. What book? Um... Middlemarch. Persuasion. Orlando has been described as the longest and most charming love letter in literature. To which of Virginia Woolf's closest friends is it dedicated? Uh, Vita Sackville Vest. Yes. What is the title of the story Mrs Ramsay is reading to her son James in the first part of To the Lighthouse that she describes as like the bass gently accompanying a tune? The Fisherman and His Wife. Yes. What's the title of the epic poem that Orlando starts to write in Elizabethan times and eventually publishes in 1928? The Hook Tree. Yep. Catherine Hilbury's Aunt Millison gets Ralph Denham's name wrong the first time she meets him in Night and Day. What does she call him? Popham. Yeah. Which venue that has red chimneys and square battlements is the meeting place of the friends in the waves? 
uh, Hampton Court. Yes. In night and day, Mary Datchett's an unpaid volunteer at an office in Russell Square, London. For what cause? Suffrage. Yep. What item nailed to the wall in the nursery stops the children from going to sleep in the first part of To the Lighthouse? A uh, boar's skull. Yep. In between the acts, which of Mrs Giles Oliver's belongings had its uses in impressing chambermaids in hotels? Um... Pass. Well, I can tell you because you're out of time. A silver brush, a heavily embossed, obviously, silver brush, rather posh one. Um, Ian, you have ten points. Okay. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Neil Wright. Your occupation? Retired biomedical scientist. And your specialist subject? The wines of Burgundy. The wines of Burgundy in 90 seconds. Here we go. What's the name of the principal grape used to make the red wine from Burgundy, excluding the region of Beaujolais? Pinot Noir. Yep. Which wine of Maurice Saint-Denis was elevated to Grand Cru status in 1981? Bonmar. No, Lambre, Claude Lambre. What? Two-word name is generally given to the process used in Beaujolais in which the whole grapes are fermented with carbon dioxide before being crushed. Carbonic maceration. Yes. What name is given to the technique in which sugar is added to the freshly pressed grapes or must to boost alcohol levels in red burgundy wines? It's named after a French scientist and minister. Chaptalisation. Yes. Which town has its name officially included in the names of wines of certain briny vineyards, including La Junelotte and La Pièce sous le Bois? It is said to mean mouse's jump. Pass. Who was the 8th century Frankish king and later emperor whose name is given to Corton wine produced in and around Alox, Ladois and Pernon? Charlemagne. Yes. In which commune of the Côte de Nuit is the Romain Georges Rumier? Uh, no, Chambon Massigny. Which monastic order founded and developed the walled vineyard of Claude de Vergeau in the Côte de Nuit? Cistercian. Yeah. What is the name of the commune in the Côte de Nuit where the highly regarded premier cru au mal consort is produced? Nuit Saint-Georges. No, Vonnier Romanet. Uh, which infamous French statesman and soldier whose favourite wine was reputedly Chambertin has a premier cru in his name produced by the commune of Fixin? Napoleon. Napoleon is correct. You had uh, one pass. The town that has its name officially included in the names of wines of certain briny vineyards is Meursault. You have scored, Neil, six points. Mm. And our next contender, please. And your name is... Mags Bennett. Your occupation? Milliner. And your chosen subject? Motley Crue. Motley Crue in 90 seconds. Here we go. Motley Crue's first performance in the UK was at which festival in 1984? Donington Monsters of Rock. Yep. The band opened for a British heavy metal singer during his 1984 tour. What's his name? Ozzy Osbourne. Yep. What was the name of the female drummer who toured with the band while Randy Costello was ill? Samantha Maloney. Yep. What was the title of the band's 1989 album that topped the Billboard chart and also reached the top ten in the UK? Dr Feelgood. Yep. In April 1990, Tommy Lee ended up in hospital with mild concussion after an accident during a concert in which city? Is it Arizona? No, New Haven. The band singer Vince Neil was convicted of vehicular manslaughter and briefly imprisoned after he crashed his car in December 84 and killed the drummer of the band, Hanoi Rocks. What was the drummer's name? Nicholas Dingley Razzle. Yeah. Who filed a lawsuit against the band's management in 1988? He claimed that he'd been asked to masquerade as the bassist, Nicky Six, for several years. Matthew Tripp. Yep. Who temporarily replaced Vince Neil as lead singer in the early 90s and appeared on the band's eponymous 1994 album? John Kareba. Yep. Which song that reached number 36 in 94 was their only UK hit single with John Kareba on lead vocals? Hooligan's Holiday. Yes. On the 31st of December 2015, the band played their final concert at the Staples Centre in which city? LA. Yep. A track on Motley Crue's 1989 album Dr Feelgood featured Rick Nielsen and Robin Zander of which band? Cheap Trick. Yep. What was the title of the first album released by the band after Vince Neil returned as lead singer? It reached the top ten in America in 97. Generation Swine. Yes. Smoking in the Boys' Room was an American top 20 hit for Motley Crue in 1985. Which band from Michigan had reached the top ten with the song in 1973? Brownsville Station. Is correct. No passes. Mags, you've scored 12 points.
And our final contender, please. And your name is? Tim Footman. Your occupation? Freelance editor. Chosen subject? Kazuo Ishiguro. In 90 seconds, starting now. In what Japanese city did Ishiguro live with his extended family before he moved to Guildford with his parents as a child? Nagasaki. Yep. Which Ishiguro novel takes its title from the third track on the LP Songs After Dark by Judy Bridgewater? Uh, Never Let Me Go. Yes. In the story Come Rain or Come Shine, what cruel nickname for himself does Raymond find in his friend Emily's diary that sets off a humiliating chain of events? Boring. Prince of Winers. At which university did Ishiguro complete an MA in creative writing under tutors that included Angela Carter and Malcolm Bradbury? East Anglia. Yes. Who was the editorial director of Faber and Faber, who included three of Ishiguro's stories in the 81 collection, Introduction 7, Stories by New Writers? Bill Bruford. Robert McCrum. In Remains of the Day, what personal quality does Stevens tell Dr Carlyle comes down to not removing one's clothing in public? Dignity. Yes. Which story centres on a Japanese brother and sister, their widowed father, and the consumption of a dish that may or may not contain the poisonous puffer fish, fugu? Uh, some a strange and sometimes sad. No, uh, a family supper. What award did Ishiguro receive from the Royal Society of Literature for his first novel, A Pale View of Hills? Winifred Holtby. Yes. What piece of music does Stefan Hoffman propose to play at the Thursday concert when he first meets Ryder in The Unconsoled? Uh, Mallory's... No, Jean-Louis Laroche's Dahlia. In When We Were Orphans, Christopher's father's involved in the trade of a product from India to China. What's the product? Opium. Yes. What's the name of the elderly horse ridden by the knight Sir Gawain in The Buried Giant? Uh, Barumas? No, Horace. Horace the horse. <laughs> um, no passes, Tim. You've scored six points. So, that is the specialist subject round done and dusted. Let's have a look at all the scores. Joint fourth place, six points apiece, Neil and Tim. Third place, ten points, Ian. Second place, eleven points, Michael. First place, twelve points, Mags. It is the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. So let's get on with it and ask Neil to join us again, please. And uh, you start out with six, but you've got two minutes of general knowledge now, so plenty of time. Here we go. How many pounds are there in a stone in imperial measure? 14. Yes. What shellfish are used in the dish angels on horseback? They're wrapped in bacon, grilled and served on small pieces of toast or fried bread. Oysters. Yep. What animal is William Blake talking about in his poem Songs of Experience when he asked the question, what immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Tiger. Yes. What is the capital of the Canadian province of Alberta? Edmonton. Yes. King Paul I, third son of King Constantine, was the head of state of which European country from 1947 to 64? Greece. Yep. In astronomy, the stars Akiba and Altaf, whose names come from the Arabic for claw and the end, are in which zodiacal constellation? Um, Scorpio. Cancer. What type of roses get their name because of the popular drink the scent resembles? Pass. What traditional Irish song gave Thin Lizzy their first British hit? It reached number six in 1973. Whiskey in the Jar. Yes. Who played Bodie and Doyle's boss, George Cowley, in the television series The Professionals? Gordon Jackson. Yep. What name, meaning self-boil in Russian, is given to an often elaborately decorated metal urn used to boil water to make tea? Samovar. Yep. Who created Dr Doolittle and tried to strand him on the moon when he tired of writing about him? Pass. Which Spanish artist painted Science and Charity in 1897 when he was about 15 years old? His father, a professor of drawing, modelled as the doctor. Picasso? Yes. Which Paralympian's real forenames are Caris Davina, although she's best known by one derived from the nickname Tiny that was given by her sister? Pass. 
Who directed the first Alien film released in 1979? He also directed Prometheus in 2012 and Alien Covenant in 2017. Ridley Scott. Yes. In which present-day North African country is the town of Silene, where St George, in one version of the story, slew the dragon? Libya. Yep. In the 1840s, Hector Berlioz wrote admiringly about a newly invented instrument that's since become particularly associated with jazz. What instrument? Saxophone. Is correct. You had three passes. That um, Paralympian who uh, was nicknamed Tiny, Tanny Gray Thompson. Yeah, that's how she's now known. Uh, Hugh Lofting created Dr. Doolittle and wanted to get rid of him on the moon. And the roses get their name because of the popular drink. Tea roses, hybrid teas. There we are. Um, Neil, you have 18 points. And now, Tim, again, please. And uh, you also start out with six points, Tim, and 18. As we speak, is the score to beat. So let's see how you do with your two minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. In which English castle is Queen Mary's doll's house kept? Sandringham. Windsor. What stringed musical instrument does Kermit the Frog usually play? Uh, banjo. Yep. Which fictional detective said of one of his more difficult cases, it's quite a three-pipe problem and I beg that you won't speak to me for 50 minutes? Sherlock Holmes. Yes. The Iron Gates Gorge that forms part of the border between Serbia and Romania lies on which major European river? Danube. Yep. In what 1976 film did Jessica Lange say, please put me down, you goddamn chauvinist pig ape? Uh, Postman Always Rings Twice. King Kong. Oh. Which song by Phil Collins gave him his first singles chart entry as a solo artist? It reached number two in February 1981. Uh, in the air tonight? Yes. The name of what confection, consisting of thin layers of puffed pastry, typically filled with jam and cream, is French for thousand leaf? Me foy. Yeah. What term for the examination of a dead body to establish the cause of death literally means after death in Latin? Post-mortem. Yeah. In maths, what is the general term for a plain figure with straight sides, especially one with more than four? Uh, parallelogram. Polygon. In which European country were the secret police known as OVRA formed in 1927? The initials are thought to stand for the vigilant repression of anti-fascism. Uh, Russia. Italy. Which British female tennis player born in Australia to Hungarian parents entered the world's top ten in October 2016? China Conta. Yep. Which day of the week is known in German as Dienstag and Italian as Martedì? Uh, Thursday? Tuesday. Whose 1987 Booker Prize winning novel Moon Tiger was based partly on her experiences of living in Egypt, where she was born and spent her childhood? Penelope Lively. Yes. According to Geoffrey of Monmouth, a descendant of Aeneas and an exile from Troy called Brutus, is the legendary first king of a country and the founder of its people. Which country? Britain. Yes. Which former Olympic medal winning swimmer joined the television series Gladiators in 1995 using the name Amazon? Sharon Davis. Yep. What term of American origin is applied to people in non-manual work, especially clerical or managerial jobs, where a certain formality address is required? White collar. Yep. Who stars as the English aristocrat John Morgan, who is captured by Native Americans and adopts their way of life in the 1970 film A Man Called Horse? Richard Harris. Is correct. No passes, Tim. You have 18 points. And now, Ian, again, please. And you, Ian, start out with ten points. The quarter beat is 18. So here we go with your general knowledge. What name is given to the second and smaller of the two major parts of the Bible? Uh, New Testament. Yep. In what event did Tessa Sanderson win the Olympic gold medal at the 84 Los Angeles Games while her rival, Fatima Whitbread, won the bronze? Discuss. Javelin. Who had a first UK top ten hit in 1973 with Killing Me Softly with his song? Uh, Rota Flack. Yep. What name of French origins often now used generically for clear orange flavoured liqueurs such as Cointreau and Curacao? Um, liqueurs? Triple sec. What name that means the path that leads to the watering place in Arabic is given to the body of law that governs Islam? Um, the Quran? Sharia. What term that means beautiful singing describes the Italian vocal style of the 17th to 19th centuries? Bel canto. Yes. Angela Merkel and Theresa May's fathers both had what occupation? Um, doctor. Clergyman. The Second Punic War with Rome was provoked by Carthaginian general's capture of Saguntum on the east coast of the Iberian Peninsula in 219 BC. Which general? Hannibal. Yep. What name of old French origin is given to the small bouquet worn by a woman on the bodice or lapel of a dress? Um, pass. 
who received a Best Actress Oscar nomination for her performance in the title role of the 1980 film Private Benjamin? Go to Horn? Yep. Chittagong is the major seaport and second largest city of which country? Burma. Bangladesh. In computing, what type of file that contains several files in compressed form shares its name with a type of fastener? Zip. Yep. At the start of a novel by George Orwell that satirises the Russian Revolution, Mr Jones is chased off his property by its inhabitants. What novel? Angle Farm. Yes. What specifically did the businessman James Golden say is created when you marry your mistress? Chaos. A job vacancy. <laughs> Who do you think you're <laughs> kidding, Mr Hitler? Sung by Bud Flanagan and played by the band of the Coldstream Guards is the theme song to which television comedy series? That's Army. Yep. Which critic and biographer published a twice-weekly periodical called The Rambler between 1750 and 1752? He described it as pure wine compared with his other works that were wine and water. Johnson? Yeah, Dr Samuel Johnson. Uh, one pass, that um, name given to the small bouquet worn by a woman, Corsage. Ah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. However, you are ahead of the field at the moment, Ian. You have 19 points. <laughs> Hello, Michael, again, please. And uh, you start out with 11 points. 19, as we say, is now the score to beat. So, here we go. Which singer owned a private jet named Lisa Marie after his daughter? Elvis. Yep, the Dreamin' or Dreamtime is the English name given to the beliefs of which indigenous people? Aborigines. Yep. Which 1922 poem by T.S. Eliot consists of five parts, The Burial of the Dead, A Game of Chess, The Fire Sermon, Death by Water, and What the Thunder Said? The Wasteland. Yes. The angler fish whose tails used to be eaten as a scampi substitute is usually sold under what name? Catfish. Monkfish. Which actor best known for the title role in the film Ferris Bueller's Day Off married the Sex and the City star Sarah Jessica Parker in 1997? Matthew Broderick. Yep. In what indoor sport that became an Olympic event at the 2000 Games in Sydney did Bryony Page become Britain's first Olympic medalist when she won silver in Rio? Judo. Trampolining. Who was the only member of the so-called three tenors not born in Spain? Bocelli. Pavarotti. What is usually housed in a tower known as a campanile? Bells. Yeah. The aphelion is the name given to the point in the orbit of a planet or comet at which it is furthest from what? The sun. Yes. What town, a former iron and steel making centre that stands on the south side of the Tees estuary, has a famous transporter bridge that carries road vehicles across the river? Gateshead. Middlesbrough. Which birds make a sound generally known as honking as a means of communication as they fly, often in a V-shaped formation? Peace. Yep. What was the name of the liberal reformist Democrat candidate who was beaten by Richard Nixon in the 1972 presidential election? George McGovern. Yep. True was the title of both the only album and single to top the UK charts for which 80s group? Uh, Spandau Ballet. Yes. What term is commonly used for a person who gains illegal access to a computer system or network, usually with malicious or criminal intent? Hacker. Yep. The solicitor's daughter, Lucy Honeychurch, is the heroine of a 1908 novel by E.M. Foster, later made into an Oscar-nominated film. What's it called? A Room with View. Yep. Which German city's Gothic cathedral that was badly damaged during the Second World War was the world's tallest building at the time of its completion in 1880? Cologne. Yes. And out of time, but only just. Uh, Michael, no passes, 23 points. <laughs> and finally, Mags again, please. And you start out with 12 points, but now the score to beat, if you are to get into the grand final, is 23. Let's see if you can do it with two minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. Gate leg console and drop leaf for all types of what item of furniture? Table. Yep. Who was nominated for the Best Actress Oscar for a role as the young Rose DeWitt Bucator in Titanic? Kate Winslet. Yep. In meteorology, what was once expressed in inches of mercury but is now more usually in millibars? Pressure. Yep. What famous piece of travel advice did the American newspaper editor Horace Greeley reportedly give to a young man in the 1850s? He added that he should grow up with the country. Go West, young man. Yes. The original members of an institution founded in 1768 included two women, the painters Angelica Kaufman and Mary Moser. Which institution? Royal Institution. Royal Academy. Which Hungarian-born composer wrote the music for a ballet called The Wooden Prince and a pantomime called The Miraculous Mandarin? Tchaikovsky. Bartok. In Britain, sprue is the thin early pickings of a much-prized seasonal vegetable. What vegetable? Rhubarb. 
Asparagus. Which Labour politician headed the National Government of Britain from 1931 till 35? Churchill. James Ramsay MacDonald, whose 2016 novel Different Class is the third of a psychological thriller set in the fictional Yorkshire town of Mulberry. Joanna Trollope. Joan Harris. In 2003, the lawyer Shirin Ebadi became the first female Muslim and the first Iranian to be awarded a Nobel Prize. In which category? Peace. Yes. In the 1933 film I'm No Angel, who plays a circus performer called Tira, who says, when I'm good, I'm very good, but when I'm bad, I'm better. May West. Yep. The mountainous plateau region of south-central France, whose highest peaks are the Puy de Sancy and the Plombe de Cantal, is known by what name? Chamonix. Massif Central. Anna Matronic is the only female member of a pop band who were formed in New York in 2001. Which band? Scissor Sisters. Yep. Of what beings are Oberon and Titania, the king and queen in Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream? Fairies. Yep. What indoor racket sport is generally considered to have originated at Harrow School in the mid-19th century? Badminton. Squash. What term that comes from the Sanskrit for actions is used in Indian religions and philosophy for the principle that good or bad deeds determine a person's future existence? Zen. Karma. Karma. Yeah. Could have been Zen. Anyway, uh, Mags, 20 points. Well, there it is. We have a clear winner. Let's have a look at all the scores. In joint fourth place, 18 points apiece, Neil and Tim. Third place, 19 points, Ian. Second place, 20 points, Mags. First place, 23 points, Michael. Which means, of course, that Michael goes through to the grand final. Congratulations to him. And if you'd like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk, stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter, at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.